Welcome back to our patch session. I'm Miss Ryan. And I'm Miss Lexi. I got a joke for you today. Oh, let's hear it. What do you call a fly without wings? What do you call a fly without wings? Chirp, chirp, chirp. A walk. Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about community helpers. And first, we have a community helper song that we're going to sing. Teachers teach us ABCs, shapes and colors, one, two, threes. Doctors help us when we're sick. Medicine will do the trick. Firefighters put out fires. Mechanics fix our cars and tires. Police help keep things safe for you. What job do you want to do? All right. Miss Lexi has a book called Firefighter Ted. It is by Andrea Beatty and Pascal Lemaitre. I'm not sure how to say that, so I was probably wrong. Okay, let's see. One morning, Ted woke up and sniffed the air. It smelled like smoke. <laughs> That's not good, thought Ted. I need a firefighter. Ted looked everywhere, but he couldn't find one. And since Ted couldn't find a firefighter, he became a firefighter. But every firefighter needs a fire truck. Firefighter Ted found a fire truck. That was lucky. He thought, I need a fire extinguisher too. Firefighter Ted looked everywhere else. Since he couldn't find a fire extinguisher, he made one. Now where is that fire, thought Firefighter Ted. Firefighter Ted searched the house. The kitchen was filled with smoke. It rose from a plate on the table. Stand back, shouted Firefighter Ted. He put out the toast and helped his mother to safety. That was your breakfast, said his mother. It still is, said Firefighter Ted, and now it's nutritious and safe. Go to school, said his mother. Remember, said Firefighter Ted, only you can prevent breakfast fires. It was very hot outside. The sidewalk sizzled and hurt firefighter Ted's feet. He saw a kitten on the hot sidewalk. It needed help. Firefighter Ted rescued the kitten and two puppies and three tricycles. One, two, three tricycles. The crowd was speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. When Firefighter Ted arrived at school, the principal was waiting for him in the hallway. You are late, said Principal Bigum. Firefighter Ted frowned. You are blocking the fire alarm, he said, and he helped the principal to safety. Principal Bigum turned bright red. Watch out, said Firefighter Ted. You're overheating. Principal Bigum's face turned redder and redder still. Stop, drop, and roll, said Firefighter Ted, and he helped Principal Bigum to safety again. Principal Bigum was speechless. He pointed to Mrs. Johnson's room. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Mrs. Johnson's students were in line at the door. They were going to see the science fair exhibits in the cafeteria. A parade, shouted Firefighter Ted. Firefighters always lead the parade. Firefighter Ted led the parade down the hall. Woo! All the other classes came out to watch. Everyone loves parades, 
said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. Firefighter Ted looked around the cafeteria. There was danger everywhere. Look around, do you see anything that's unsafe? Oh no. I see some stuff. Volcanoes, yelled Firefighter Ted. He jumped into action. Firefighter Ted stopped the volcanoes from erupting and helped the students to safety. They were speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Suddenly, Firefighter Ted smelled something burning. A thin stream of smoke rose from Principal Bigham's pants. The smoke got thicker and thicker. His pants got hotter and hotter. Principal Bigham ran this way and that. He yelled, call the tailor, call the janitor, call the library. Just call somebody. But Firefighter Ted was already there. He helped the principal to safety. He pulled the fire alarm and started the fire sprinklers. Just then, the tailor arrived with the janitor and the librarian. You need pants, said the tailor, and a mop, said the janitor. Good thing you had Firefighter Ted, said the librarian. My work here is done, said Firefighter Ted. You can keep the fire extinguisher, and remember, only you can prevent pant fires. <laughs> that night, Ted put away his fire truck and went to bed knowing he had done a good job. He lay awake for a very long time. There is so much to know about fire safety, he thought. A poster could help everyone understand. Ted did not have a poster, but he could make one, he thought, if I had a paintbrush. The end. And now we have an activity. We're going to go through a couple different community helpers and what materials they might use at their job. So we're going to match our community helpers we have to our pictures up here, our tools that they might use. So our first one we have is... I need to put my hat back on. Police officer. There we go. Our first one is... A construction worker. Mm -hmm. So a construction worker, they build things. So what would they use to build things? Would they use... Would they need a chalkboard mm -hmm. and uh, chalk? Probably not. No. Would they need a cooking spoon and a bowl? No, not to build a house with. Ooh, a construction worker. They wear police hats, don't they? I don't think they need a badge. Well, uh, how about band-aids and a stethoscope? What do you guys think? Do they need band-aids and a stethoscope to build a house? Ooh, they need a mailbox and stamps. I don't know. They could just put the stamps all over the house and use it as wallpaper. Mm, that doesn't sound right. No. Um, oh, construction workers, they put out the fires. Oh, I thought we just read that that was a firefighter's job, Miss Ryan. Oh. So what about screws and a hammer and wood and a screwdriver and a wrench? Can they build houses with all that stuff? Yeah. I think they can, I too. think that one goes there. So let's put our construction worker with our screws and our hammers and screwdriver and our wood. All right, who we got next? Who's oh, that? That is our firefighter. Hmm. What do they need? What did we say they go with? They go with fires, right? Yeah, they go with the fire, the fire uniform, maybe an ax, fire truck, and fire hat. Those are the tools they need for their job.
the fire truck is important. It has all of their tools in it and their uniform to keep them from breathing in the smoke. Mm -hmm. So we'll put the firefighter with our fire. We got next. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, this he kind of matches you, Miss Lexi. It matches me. He is a police officer. So a police officer, they deliver mail, don't they? Yeah, sometimes they have come to your house. They deliver yeah. mail? Um, I don't think that's what they do when they come there. What about medicine? They, they, do, they help make you feel better with medicine, don't they? They help people, but do they give us medicine? My hat won't stay <laughs> on. <laughs> no, I don't think they do. <gasps> Your hat looks like the hat in this picture. It does look like that hat. Can and you see? a badge and a flashlight and a police car and handcuffs. So that must be our police That must be our tools. police officer's tools. So let's put him up there next to his hat. All right. We got four more. I like this one, Miss Ryan. <gasps> Ooh, a teacher. What do we teachers use? What do we use? Hmm. Do we need a spoon and bowls and a mixer and an oven? Sometimes. Sometimes we use that stuff. But not all the time. That's not our tools that we use every day. No, not every day. Um, I think we have a chalkboard or whiteboard. We got a whiteboard in our classroom. Yes, and we have a pencil sharpener. And chalk and... Uh, so we'll put our dry teacher. eraser. So those are our tools. Okay. Pens and pencils and such. Oh no, our construction worker. All right, what do we have coming up? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, a little girl in our class wants to be this. A chef. So a chef, you think of a chef. What tools might they use? What do they do? Mm -hmm. Do they work outside? Not typically. No. Sometimes if they're, you know, barbecuing. But a chef, hmm, they work inside. I think. But, but do they deliver mail? Do they have mail stuff? No, that's not what that hat's for. What? A, oh, that's one of those medicine. That's a doctor's hat, isn't it? <gasps> Is that a doctor? I don't know. It kind of looks like a fluffy biscuit. <gasps> Oh, so they make stuff in the kitchen. Oh, that reminds me, Miss Ryan. What? Chefs use ovens. <gasps> they use ovens. And mixers to make food. An oven and a mixer. <gasps> they must go right here. Yeah. He must go right here. Our chef must use all those tools to make food. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's our farmer. Ah! Oh. That's because our <gasps> our doctor is hiding. hiding. Oh right. Oh. So a doctor, a doctor, a doctor. They they help people. They do help people. But how do they help people? What's this thing hanging around the doctor's neck? Hmm. That's probably that stethoscope thing that they listen to your heart. <gasps> Have you ever been to the doctor and then put the stethoscope on your heart and on your back to help listen to your lungs? So he needs a stethoscope. There we go. And he also, you know, he can give you medicine to feel better and he can take your temperature or maybe she and they give you band-aids for your boo-boos to make you feel better. Yes, we do. We have <clears throat> last one. Our mail carrier. Hmm. Do we have a whole, where could this guy go? We only have one spot left he could go. <laughs> Is with our mailbox and mail and post office and stamps. Yep, and is that what our mail carrier does? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, he puts our mail in our mailboxes for us every day. All right, so that's just a few of our community helpers. So for your activity at home, we would like for you guys to get some paper and maybe some crowns and stuff. And I want you guys to draw what, what community helper you want to be. It might not be up here. Maybe you want to be a pilot. Maybe you want to be a yoga teacher. A yoga teacher. 
Um, I want you guys to draw a picture of what you want to be, and then you can talk to your parents or guardians or siblings and talk to them about your picture and ask them, you know, maybe what tools might I need to do this job? What, what kind of work am I going to be? Am I going to work outside? Am I going to work inside? Um, and you can even, you know, get online and they have websites that you can research these community helpers and it'll have pictures of what they do. Um, and that's, that's all for the activity that I have. That's all today. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next time. I'm Miss Lexi. And I'm Miss Ryan. Bye.